Toya. Toya Wilcox. How can you not have heard of Toya Wilcox? She was the high princess of big wigged ping pong pop. Listen. It's a mystery. Toya, that sounds like a Japanese car. <laughs> it's a mystery. No? And this is the bird you fancy, yeah? I don't. I don't fancy her. I just think that she's very talented. We interviewed her once. She gave me her number. She gave you her number? Well, she sent us an invoice on Headed No Paper and it had her number on the top. So technically... You stole her number? No. Is that how you pick up women? No wonder why you can't get a girlfriend. What? I can get a girlfriend, dude. When's the last time you got a girlfriend? I had a... I collect girlfriends, like stamps. What was your last one called? Penny Black? I'm sorry, did you just make a rare stamp joke? She a lesbian? No, she's not a lesbian. She just looks like a lesbian because it's the 80s. Everybody looked like a lesbian in the 80s. Simon Le Bon looked like a lesbian in the 80s. Who? You kidding me? Simon Le Bloody Bon? This has turned into a joke. Let's play some music. This is the Dirty Pretty Things with Bang Bang You're Dead and it is dedicated to my missing co-presenter, Mrs. Dominic Cox. Where the hell are you, Dom Cox? Oh, this is it. He has so crossed the line. I'm going to rip his cock off. Maybe he's dead. If he isn't dead, I'm going to kill him. What's <sighs> up? Where the hell have you been? from drinking. That's like stopping Picasso from painting or Jennifer Lopez from making perfume. Don, it's not on. Tell him, Lindsay. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out when Grace and I split up. Well, can you not? And can you back me up when I try to discipline your idiot of a co-host for messing up our show? Don, she's right. I had AIDS as my co-host tonight. I spent 20 minutes trying to convince them that Leonard Cohen wasn't in Star Trek. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm booking you into addiction support. I'm not addicted. I like alcohol. I like Christmas. It doesn't mean I can't go a day without watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Too much Christmas doesn't mean you wake up on a ferry in the middle of the Irish Sea. You are. You're addicted. Oh, that's rich coming from you. Your fag intake is solely responsible for the UK not meeting its emissions targets. You need cigarettes to function. I need booze. I can function without cigarettes. Bollocks. That is bollocks. It's like the time when you said, I'm giving up sex, and two days later, you're shagging some bloke in the disabled toilet at Selfridges. He was a pilot. Or the time that you said you are going to give up meat and you had a pepperami for breakfast. Pepperami is not proper meat. OK, I'll give up the booze if you give up the fags. Fine. Not a problem. Fine. Fine. Nothing. Oh, I have to go back to last year's diary. Twenty months. It has been 20 months since Grace and I split up. It took the NASA Phoenix lander 10 months to get to Mars. I could have been to Mars and back in the time that I've not had a girlfriend. So? What do you want a girlfriend for? Girlfriends are for gays. Problem is, you're desperate. Women can smell that. You've got this whole rapey eye thing going on. Thanks for that. Thanks for clearing that up. That's great. Maybe you should wank more, release the tension. I don't think it's possible. I, 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 I hardly ever stop. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I'm actually bored of masturbation. The thing is to keep things interesting. A relationship with oneself is like any relationship. You've got to work at it, keep it fresh, try new things. Have a wank on the bus. See, this is why I get taxis everywhere. Sometimes I use two hands. Make me feel like I'm having a threesome. T minus two hours, 45 minutes until the bombast, baby. Dan's bringing his homebrew. Shame you won't be able to have any, eh? Oh, Jane! Please, can't we just start this whole thing tomorrow? Sorry, but in T-minus 38 minutes, you're attending your first addiction support class. Oh, I'm just saying, I thought last night's show went pretty well, you know. My cousin Jermaine said, me and you got a rapport. I, I, I could get my own little slot going on. We can call it Band AIDS, where I meet the band and I tell them what's good and shit about their music. It'd be nuts. See, and then later on, we'll move on to Live AIDS. And oh, that's... those are all great ideas. Where are you going? Dom Session, do you want to come? You're going with him? No, I thought I'd just send him along and trust he'll attend. Here I'm going. Want to just be a room full of weeping Glaswegians? And vulnerable women. How, how vulnerable? And then the wife left and took the kids and the TV. And not long after that, I lost the house. <laughs> Tough one. Really good friend of mine's down there. I'm just here to support him. A shoulder. You know, are you here with a with a boyfriend or sister? Excellent, excellent. Bloody addiction. Oh, what a pain in the arse. I feel so sorry for them, the addicts. 
apart from the sex addicts. Wouldn't mind a bit of that myself. <laughs> Those guys look like they're having a good time. <laughs> Love is the drug, although it can be hard to get a good fix these days. I mean, most women I meet are cut with bacon, soda and talcum powder. Sorry, I'm not quite sure. You not know. you. I'm not. I, you seem like you are pure Florida snow. You know, the kind that Colombians keep for themselves. I actually find that quite offensive. My sister lost custody of her two children due to her drug addiction. <laughs> just feels so pathetic. Great. Well done, Stephen. Okay, maybe one of our new friends could share something with us. Dom? What? <sighs> My name's Dom, and I like a drink. <laughs> Sorry, but aren't you that guy off the radio? Yeah, yeah, I'm a DJ. What? <clears throat> okay, look, um, I'm not saying I drink too much, but if I was cremated, it'd take them three weeks to put out a fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but seriously, right? I was at this gig once, yeah? Now, I'm sure that you're all familiar with the former Guns N' Roses guitar legend Slash. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, my God. I think I have verbal polio. I should be in one of these groups. Hello, my name is Lindsay Carroll, and I'm addicted to cocking up with women. Oh, Lindsay, you're not addicted, you're just a dick. You don't really think this is going to work, do you? No, of course not. It's Dom. It's time he started to grow up, take things more seriously. Brilliant. Next time I'm going to tell him about the time when Justin Hawkins set his legs on fire. <laughs> ah! Dom, you can't help but feel you're missing the point of addiction support. All right, Dom, you mad bastard. Johnson of Dan's special homebrew. No, it's all right, Murph. I'll pass. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I just um, drank a whole litre of milk, so maybe later. Wow. Who, who's that? That's a manager. That's uh, Jess. Jess. Yes. Someone fancy going for a fag? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you through. Jane, fag? Oh, yeah. Hey there. Oh, hey, you must be Lindsay. Lovely to meet you. And you, lovely to meet you. Welcome to our humble studio. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> Sorry, I've left the yoga mat. Hey, how's it going? I'm Topher. Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. It's a cool jacket. You right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a Honda CBR 600. Oh, shit, that's a nice bike. Oh. I got a uh, Kawasaki Ninja, but I don't get to take her out very much. She's more of a racing bike. Anyways, look, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Nice to meet you, Jess. And um, take care, chap. Who's he? Uh, Topher, Kiefer, he's one of the DJs here. Mm. Bit full of himself, isn't he? Oh. It's a mystery. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Embarrassing ringtone. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Hey, have you met this girl? She's amazing. <laughs> she loves Toya, hates Topher. She's perfect. Yeah, no, we made it in the All end. right, easy there, Glenn Close. What I say about being desperate? You're like a dog at a dinner table. I can't help myself. It's just when I when I see a pretty girl, I just, I, 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 I turn into Gareth Gates. You, you've got to play it cool, you know, make her come to you. You've got to neg her. Yeah. I've got to what her? Yeah, neg her. Throw her a negative comment, keep on her toes. She'd like that? Yeah, yeah, women love a challenge. OK, let's do it. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should be. What's going on with the dress? What? I mean, hey, I'm all about vintage, but some things went out of fashion for a reason. Excuse me? Sorry, um, Lindsay's actually suffering from quite a serious head injury, so uh, do you want to go find the guys and I'll, I'll see you in a sec? Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? I was negging her. That wasn't negging, that was ruding. What's the difference? OK. Why do you think I'm always attracted to guys who have girlfriends? Because your parents split up when you're 14 and you can't bear to see two people happy. No. It's because they're unattainable. No, they're not trying too hard. Just be yourself. Yeah. Or a slightly cooler, more eloquent, less annoying, not as needy version of yourself. So not myself, then? Yeah. Give up. So, Linz, I just spoke to Jermaine, and he had this idea for this new feature, yeah, where I open the show and we'll call it First Aids. Yeah, that's a great idea. Talk to Jane about it. Yeah? <sighs> Everything OK? Hmm? So, oh, yeah, sorry. The ex. Ah. We're just fighting over the cat. Oh, it's hard. You get so attached, don't you? God, no, I hate it, the miserable little fucker. <laughs> it's always got this look on its face like I've pissed in its kitty cat. Hit by someone a kitten as a present. I hate cats. 
Cats are game players, man. They're all strokey and purry when you're at home. So you're like, let's go for a walk. As soon as you get outside, they're gone. As if they're too embarrassed to be seen with you. Cats are twats. <laughs> so what about you? Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, the old girlfriend, yes. Been together long? Four years. Wow, pretty serious. It's pretty serious, yes. What's her name? Toya uh, Wilkinson. And you're happy? So blooming happy. She's, uh, she's the one, I think. And uh, both of her sisters are uglier than her. So that's a bonus. <laughs> right. Didn't I mention that? Well, I think she's a really lucky girl. Hey, Jane, I was wondering if I can have a word. Not now, Abe. Right, it'll just take two seconds. No, I'm really not in the See, mood. See, I want to tell you about this thing called First Aid. Fuck off! Mm. Sorry. I really need you to get me something. Maybe I don't want to get you nothing. After you just rooted me off in front of the wombats. You have to go. You're the runner. Fine. I'll put it this way. I ain't going to be doing no running. I'll be walking. Welcome to my circuit board city of yellow and black We all got WD-40 so our hearts don't crack I must have not need a speed bump to slow down my higher brain Okay, so I took your advice and you were so right. I told her I had a girlfriend and it was like flicking a switch. One minute I was attainable and boring, the next... You told her what? I told her I had a girlfriend. Like you said. I didn't say that. I said, don't be desperate. How are you going to go out with her if she thinks you've got a girlfriend? You twat. It's like talking to a rain man. Whoa. God, who pissed in your kitty cat? I've got to know, I've got to know from my dark death. So please release me from your outrage, smell of drama. I'll throw a spanner in the works. I want more chaos and disorder. Mate, which one of my stories do you think is funnier? The one when I skinny dipped in Princess Diana's memorial fountain, or the time when I punched the horse? What was like the horse one? Horse. The dance, have a drink, suppress it back, ruin everything. Have a dance, have a drink, suppress it back, ruin everything. Have a dance, have a drink, suppress it back, ruin everything. Have a dance. Have a drink, suppress it back, ruin everything. No smoking! <laughs> Welcome to my circuit board city of yellow and black. We are stuck WD 40, so our hearts. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Slow down my higher brain. Sorry. Have a dance, have a drink, suppress it back, ruin everything. What's in the bag, Jane? Tampons. You're not getting away with it that easily. Show me. No. Show me your tampons. Let's ruin everything tonight. I've got to know, I've got to know. Nicotine patches. Well, at least I'm not smoking. It's cheating, Jane. It's like me having an intravenous vodka drip. Take them off. Oh. In the works, I want more chaos to disorder. Is that all? Yes. Oi. Oh, yeah. Take him off. Uh, Dom women tend to prefer us if you ask them nicely. She's cheating! Gambling support? Help with overeating? Dealing with bereavement? I thought there were pizza menus. Were you planning to go to all of these? No. Maybe. Look, I've got a lot of bereavement to deal with. Who? Look, I've got so many stories, I can't just let them all go to waste. Dom? I just like the bus. Hold on. Have you become addicted to addiction support? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You're not going. Yeah? Just to try and stop me! Jesus. Just... No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, OK? Look, all right, OK, just... Just one more session, all right? Please, you can come with me. Just one more session and I quit. I promise. 
Don't let him leave the building. Fuck. I fucking hate her. Hey there, Zamo. You all right? Yeah. Do you want to hear the story about the time I shot a Kestrel at a wake? Maybe later. Listen, I need you to do me a favour. I need you to pretend to be my girlfriend. Is this about your mum thinking you're gay? No. I told a girl that I had a girlfriend so she'd be more interested in me, but then I realised I couldn't ask her to be my girlfriend because she thinks I've already got a girlfriend. So I need you to pretend to be my girlfriend and phone up so I can break up with her. You. What? Look it. I'm going to change your name in my phone to Toya. And all you have to do is call me in around 20 minutes and break up with me. OK? Good? I'll just go and lay the groundwork. Jane, you want a kebab? Mm, we're not feeding the nasty nicotine monster, are we? No, we just messed it up. Oh, you're doing so well. We were so proud of my mum when she gave up smoking. I still remember her saying, you know what, Daisy, I've finally beaten it. Oh. Sadly, after that, she got really fat, so Dad left her and she started smoking again. But the weight never came back off. You know how, like, a pine cone closes up when it's going to rain? Well, I could feel her just closing up. Really? I thought you said she was the one. Did I say that? Um, poo. Yeah, I mean, she's certainly a one. But whether she is the one, it remains to be seen. She's more next door but one. Aids? Have you seen Dom? No, nah, man, I think he went out. Hey, does this mean I get to call Jermaine and tell him that his boy is going to be on the R Aids EO? <laughs> Will you excuse me for just one second? Yeah. Where the fuck are you? When you call me? What? Who is this? Oh, shit. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Why do you call me? No, I can't talk at the moment. What are you doing? I'm at a plane. Dom, would you like to go next? Go, go, bye. No, 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 wait, Dom! Oh. oh, Dizzy! Dizzy, I need you to pretend to be my girlfriend. It's about your mum thinking you're gay. No! Jesus, she doesn't... Look it, the show's gonna start soon. I just need you to call me and to break up with me, okay? Okay. Where's Dom? I don't know. He said he was at a play. Where are you going? Back before the show starts with Dom or his corpse. I said I've been out for half an hour to get some strength to be married. I came back five days later. I completely forgot all about it. <laughs> you expecting a call? I was. I was. But it's not important. Yeah, where are Jane and Dom? They're at a play. But they'll be back for the show. Guys, go live after this song. Oh, OK. Um, I'm going to be back in a minute. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? You nearly missed another show to go to Fat Club. You're the one who suggested I go to these things in the first place. Guys, we're about to go on it. As a punishment, not to show off. Will you please shut the fuck up? Hi, hey, this is AIDS, and uh, uh, this is a new feature which I like to call Hearing AIDS, yeah? Oh, my God. Cool. So, Wombats, you ever had a wank on a bus? All right, that is it. You need to start acting like professionals. You have a drink. You have a cigarette. Get in here and do your fucking jobs. <laughs> One time my cousin Jermaine had a wanky KFC. <laughs> OK, listeners, let's play some music, shall we? What, man? You get out, take your stupid hat with you. OK, thanks for that, AIDS. What a great new feature that was. Let's see if it returns. You are with Lindsay Carroll, and we have got the Wombats here in the studio with us. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello, Wombats. I believe the last time we had the pleasure of your company was in a wigwam in Glastonbury. That's right, and uh, you just be into that naked hippie jacuzzi. Yeah. Oh, right. Isn't that where you saw Noddy Holder's spall beard? Yeah. <laughs> I went in there for a shower, what? and I came out feeling dirtier than when I went in. You told you on the show. Technically, it wasn't a wigwam. It was a teepee. A wigwam is dome-shaped, whereas the teepee is more of a truncated cone. Professor Wombat there, thank you. Lindsay, call on line one. Lindsay, it's a girlfriend. What? Yeah, I'm just calling to tell you that you're dumped. <laughs> Good. That's great, Toya, but uh, can we talk about this later? Who's Toya? You are, you silly goose. Oh, yes, I am, and I'm sick of it. OK, uh, well... I'm actually on the air at the moment, so... You're always on air. That's the problem with you. You neglect me. You're, you're a neglector. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. And you slept with my sister. I did not. I, I wouldn't sleep with either of your sisters, Toya. They're both uglier than you are. Lindsay, the mentally handicapped. Don't say they're ugly. Anyway, you're dumped. And uh, you're shit in bed. I uh, hope it's all OK. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. We're going to the pub with the boys. Do you want to come? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be there in a minute. Jess. Hey. Hey. Uh, I was just wondering, now that I am a single man again, maybe you and I... Lindsay, you were just dumped by your girlfriend. Quite viciously. Uh, yeah, but you know what they say about falling off the bike? The best thing to do is to just ride another bike. I don't think so. I made her up. What? Toya, I made her up. I didn't want to seem desperate, so I made up a girlfriend. But then I realised that you wouldn't go out with me if you thought I had a girlfriend, so I got this girl to pretend to be my girlfriend and dump me over the phone so I could ask you out. I'm just trying to figure out what's worse here. You pretending to have a girlfriend to get me to like you, or you pretending to have made up your real girlfriend to get me to like you? Well, whichever one is better. That's the one it is. Lindsay, I like you, but you're a dick. Are you negging me or eroding me? Last week's episode of FM, you can watch it with ITV Player, available at itv.com/slash ITV Player or on BT Vision Digital TV on demand.